Hello and welcome to another short video showing some of the key features of Rosada's Envision product. My name is Richard Lansbury, Sales Director here at Rosada and in this video we're going to have a look at a fleet of aircraft in the system, how to manage an aircraft and the information available to the user. On my dashboard you can see here I've got a link to my aircraft fleet. Clicking on that will give me my fleet overview. I can have as many aircraft or aircraft types in here as you want. Each aircraft has a serviceability status. So here this aircraft is unserviceable and these ones are serviceable. This is based on a rule of your choosing that you set up when the system is implemented. Clicking on an aircraft will give me further details. Down the left hand side here, I can see basic information things like hours and cycles, last tech log, links to my maintenance program, and any other information entered. At the top, I can see my scheduled maintenance. We call this a mini forecast. This will show me the next five due, or in this case overdue, uh, maintenance tasks. These come from our maintenance program, which we'll look at in a separate video. If a task is overdue, you'll see it in red, and here you can see a task due in the next five days will show in orange. I can also see information on defects, the current status, whether that's open, deferred or transferred onto a work order. The due date again is based on the MEL category that you choose when that defect is deferred. Finally, at the bottom, information on ADs or SBs entered through our tech library, again with a forecasted due date. We can see the configuration of the aircraft, we've got the table view, or I can see it in what we call our model tree. I've got a model tree for an A320 here. You'll see anything in red is not attached. Further down, I've got submodels for landing gear or engines and APUs. Here we can see an attached component. This is location, position, the component, the part number, and the attached serial number. From here, using the actions button, I can view that component, or I can view the part number, or even perform a fitment or removal. I can now look at the aircraft tech logs. Again, this is where the tech logs are entered and can be viewed. I can add a new tech log from here. Once the basic log has been entered, I can then go ahead and add sectors to this particular tech log. Information on tech logs and how to enter these are covered in a different video. We've also got information on structural items, your dent and buckle chart, information on maintenance tasks, and again you can either view these in a table view or in a tree view if attached to components in our configuration tree. The colours in the tasks represent the statuses. And if I view my legend, you'll see what each individual status means. For further information on a task, you can use these hyperlinks and that will take you to the task in the maintenance program. Finally, we've got our AD binder. This will give me information on anything from our tech library, ADs, SBs, things like life, last done or next due. If the task has already been carried out, we can download the documents or the signature if that's been carried out within the system. Going back to my fleet overview, ends the video for today. Thank you very much for listening and hopefully we'll speak to you very soon.